Hey friends, I'm Joe Kurlewski, the super brave teacher. And there's a lot, a lot, I wish I was told more of or at all as a teenager. So I thought, you know what? I'm gonna film a video about it. And I wanted to share with you the things that I wish I was told more of or at all as a teenager. Thank you for joining me on this mission of tipping Google, YouTube, and the world in a radically positive and accepting way for all, all, all LGBTQ plus teachers and students like this guy. Because every time we watch these videos, every time we share our stories, we show other people that it is not only okay to be who they are, it is awesome and it needs to be celebrated. I don't want crumbs, I want to eat cake. Okay, 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 I can get off my high horse. Here we go what I wish I was told as a teenager. You feel awkward because you are awkward. That's okay, look around you. Everyone else is awkward too. Stop it. Stop trying to be like everyone else. You aren't, and that's your superpower. Dive into your superpowers. Why are you trying to blend in? You are wearing gray all the time. Come on, you love colors. Put on some colors. Come on, you love looking nice. Look nice. Do you. You're brilliant. Not just in the ways, the academic ways that everyone's looking at, not just in your GPA. You think so differently. Engage in that, challenge that. Not for a sticker, not for a prize, not for an award, but because you know that's who you are. Stop searching for what is normal. Stop comparing yourself to the average, the above average, the below average. You are enough. You have a lot of questions, ask them. And you know what? There is such a thing as a bad question. A bad question is the question that you ask instead of the real question that you wanna ask. Ask that question that you really wanna ask. Because some people, not everybody, but some people, really want to answer those questions with you and explore them with you. It's okay to have an opinion. It's okay to shift and grow and even challenge adults because they need to be challenged sometimes, especially if it's something that doesn't align with who you are and what you value. So you're thinking about sex and bodies and kissing and all of that stuff. Most people are too. Ask about it learn about it, discover things. But I'll give you a piece of advice, discover them in books. Books are so much more informative than a Google search. Don't go down the Google search route, trust me. Find your gaggle of friends that get you. Even if it just starts with that one friend who just gets you, or those two friends who get you. I'm talking about the person who you can be around, who you can just giggle and laugh and share things that Others would go, ugh, and they just are awesome to be around. Those are the people who you want to be around all the time. It's okay to ask for help, especially junior year. Joe, you're going to struggle. So make sure you ask for help, and it's okay to ask for professional help, too. It's okay to get any help you might need. Make sure you get help. You know, you're always in a better mood when you take care of yourself, so make sure you get some good sleep, you do some physical activities, you eat as, well, let's be honest, in high school, you don't want to eat healthy, but eat somewhat healthy because it's nourishing who you are. And when you can fully show up, it's awesome. So keep doing things that take care of yourself so you can fully show up. It gets lonely. You are not alone. It gets overwhelming, very overwhelming. You are enough. Throw in some sass and some humor whenever you keep getting that question, what are you gonna do with your life? What are you gonna do with your life? Oh, are you excited to be a teacher? No, I don't like kids. Didn't, didn't you hear the news? I don't like kids anymore. Th give them that sass, give them that humor because they don't know what it's like being asked all the time, what are you gonna do with your life? What are you? How about I start living one day at a time like you tell me to until all of a sudden it's college time and you want me to <sighs> give him some sass. I'm proud of you for doing your best. I know it's hard. I have no idea how hard it is, but I know it's hard for you. 
Don't give up. Never give up. It is awesome that you are wherever you are on the spectrum, whether you are straight, gay, queer, gender nonconforming, transgender, wherever you fall on that spectrum, awesome. Keep exploring that. Keep figuring that out. If you all of a sudden are putting in a box, tear open the box because that is just one little, little, little label of people trying to figure you out. They never will, and that's okay. Keep being you. Well, there you have it, friends. That is my list of things that I wish I was told more of, or at all, let's be honest, at all, at all, as a teenager. Now, I share that not to shame people in my past, not to shame my parents or my family, or my high school teachers, or my high school friends. We all were doing the best we could do, and guess what? We can always do better. I can always do better. They can always do better. And let's keep pushing for that. Let's keep sparking bravery. Thanks for watching this video. You are appreciated. You are enough just for being who you are. And Joel, you were a hot mess back in high school. I am. I'm so glad that it's over, but you know what? It's beautiful what's on the other end. Bye friends.